there was knowing and there was believing and believing wasn't much influenced by facts from page 38 in Jacinto's remnant. If he'd known what normal looked like, he'd have said it looked normal. From page 104 in Jacinto's remnant. I wanna give a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Hey y'all, it's Kay from The Literary Apothecary and welcome back to another episode of what I think I'm calling the gaming book series spin-off of the books my boyfriend gave me series welcome back um today we're going to be talking about jacinto's remnant which is book two in the gears of war series now a spoiler free summary of what this book is all about um yes this is book two in the series and it almost directly follows book one's events partly um and i'll get to that in just a minute after a brutal 15-year war for survival, the COG is forced to destroy mankind's last city in a final bid to stop the Locust Horde. As the survivors flee Jacinto, they must contend with the last of the Locust bent on vengeance as they struggle to stay alive in an icy wilderness. Marcus Phoenix, Dominic Santiago, and their fellow Gears fight to get Jacinto's refugees to a safe haven, but find themselves in a lawless new world where the enemy is human and as desperate and dangerous as any grub. Now, I gave this one three and a half out of five stars. Um, what worked for me was the character development. In book one, most of the characters, almost all the characters felt completely flat for me when it's hard to sympathize with any of the characters. In Jacinto's Remnant Book 2, we get a little bit more character development for some of the characters. Not all of them, but some of them. Here we get more of Dom, Bernie, and Hoffman's stories, and so it's easier to attach to these characters because we know a little bit more about their trials, tribulations, and also successes, what they've been through in life, and what makes them them at this point in the story. Um, something else that worked for me in this book was uh, the, seeing the new world building. Whenever I hear of um, post-apocalyptic stories and you know the world ending and having to rebuild after that, I always wonder what is it like to rebuild a world after you've just demolished it? And in Jacinto's Remnant, we see exactly that. They've just done the Hammer of Dawn strikes on all of the major cities. Um, wiped out most of humanity on their planet and now they have to rebuild in this one little island um, and so that was really intriguing to me to see that side of the story what didn't work for me we still had those timeline jumps and flashbacks and i think for me what made them so hard is that they were entire chapters in the book instead of just glimpses or you know short flashback flashbacks like we get in some other book series these were entire chapters of essentially different timelines and so it was hard to grasp that because as soon as i was you know processing that story that we're getting in that chapter of the flashback bam we went back to the back to the future i guess or the present time um and so it was hard to really come to terms with this back and forth back and forth um, also, I wanted more from the characters. While we did get more, a little bit more development of our characters in Jacinto's Remnant, I wanted more. I want to know these characters' backstories and I want to see the events that are referred to in these books. I want to see them. I imagine that we'll get more and more as the books go on, but I want them now so I can attach to these characters before something happens to them and we're supposed to be reacting. Um, so, like I said, I gave this one three and a half out of five stars. I enjoyed it more than I did in the first book, um, Asphalt Fields, and I've already started book three, Anvil's Gate, and this one, book three, is already a lot easier to follow. So I think I'm going to enjoy that one even more. Um, so stay tuned for another episode of 
gaming, my gaming book series where I'll talk about Anvil Gate Book 3 in the Gears of War series. If you've read Jacinto's Remnant or you've played the Gears of War series, video game series, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the book. If you think my comments on the books correlate to the video games, as always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. There is no pressure to join either, but we have a ton of fun at both. Keep reading, and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.